how to create a landing page on Shopify. So hi guys, the first thing that we're going to do is to simply open our browser, go to shopify.com, and once you're routed to the page, simply log in or sign in to your Shopify account. As you can see, I have already signed into my account. Now, this is the homepage of my Shopify store. And simply go to the search bar here above. Now in the search bar, when you click it, you will see apps right here. Click on it and then go to our recommended app section after which scroll down a bit and we are going to click on our shopify app store link now it will route us to our shopify app store after which and here there's another search bar the thing that we're going to search on is page fly click on page fly all right and there we have page fly here now let's click on it. So basically, you can see an open app button if you have already installed this one to your application. What is PageFly basically? So it crafts stunning store pages, no code required. Enjoy unwavering page speed, your success bit simplified. Now for the pricing, basically it's free to install. However, um, it's only available for one page or section. So free all features and add-ons. However, there's also a paid plan from $24 a month. All right. Now, if you want to see the pricing options, just click on this link right here. Okay, now let's open our PageFly application to begin. Now, once you are routed to PageFly, you will be here in your dashboard, basically. In the left-hand panel, you can actually see your panel. So here, let's go to Publishing and let's have our Pages section. Under Pages, we have Home Pages. And in here, we can actually see a Create from a Template. Click on it. Now, once you create from a template, there are categories in the left-hand side. Let's choose landing pages and simply choose the template that fits your store best. So, for example, if you're having a sale or if there's a specific event that you would like to um, promote in your page, then you can actually choose from these kinds of variety right here. And if you also want to start from scratch, you could also do so by creating from a blank page. All right. So here, let's just choose one. Okay, I'm going to choose the sales promotion for Valentine's right here. All right. So once you click on the specific template that you would want to make use of, you can actually see it route to a different page where you can edit this um, section or the template that you have chosen. Now, if you click on specific um, sections, like there are headings or sections on this um, template, then you can actually click on that. So for example, I want to edit this part right here. All, all I need to do is to go to the right-hand panel and go to Styling Options. I can actually um, edit the font size if I want it larger. I could also edit the text alignment. So if I want it right, uh, center, and left, or whatnot. So you can click on that one. Like how you navigate your WordPad, basically. Now, you can also make it bold, italicize it, and underline this specific um, text, basically, that we have in this section. All right, for the background, you could also choose a background color for this uh, section right here. So, for instance, we're going to have a yellow colored background, then you could also have that one, right? Or if you want a red one, just choose the color the, of your choice. All right, so let's stick with the yellow color right here. Now, the next thing that we can do is we could also add background images, but as for this one, um, I will not choose that or opt to do that. I'm just going to change another um, shade of yellow, perhaps, and I can do that by clicking on the box and um, simply choosing the color or dragging 
it to the color of my choice. Okay. And that's how you change the background color of a specific section, or this is like the heading section of our page fly or landing page. Okay, now the next thing that we can do is to go to the border section. You could actually choose like border styles also as well. Uh, we're going to go through background image in a while. All right, so there you can have like underlined, broken underlined, full underlined, and whatnot. All right, so I'm going to uh, stick to no underline or no border, basically. Okay, next is that we have our display style right here. Uh, you can actually uh, change whether you want it in line or block. That actually depends on you. But as for me, I'm actually good with not having in line or block. I want it this way. All right, so if you want to add a shadow effect as well, you can actually enable that one. Um, you can just simply navigate through this section very easily and very conveniently. Okay. And here in the advanced section, here you can actually add some codes. However, of course, we would want um, a no-code editing so that it would be easier and simpler for us to, you know, yeah, navigate on the page and edit. So for visibility, you can actually hide it on desktop, on laptop, or on tablet. There are specific sections that you can make it visible or not. Um, here, you can actually find it in the general settings beside the styling. Uh, you could also track it. Like, for example, if you do have events like PageFly events, um, Google Calendar, you could also link that one right there. Now, we're going to simply change the content of our heading right here. So instead of Valentine's Day, let's say it's summertime. All right. So there you could also choose the HTML tag as well. All right. And you could show the icon if you would want to. But I disabled it though. <laughs> All right, now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to simply go to another section right here that we can edit, edit out. Okay, so for example, this picture, let's take away this picture since we're going to have like summer instead of like um, our Valentine's Day offer. So simply click on the element and there are like panels up there i have deleted the picture and still the same go to styling section if you want to go and change the background image you simply select on it and click on the background image that you would want to um change so for example i want to have this beach picture since we are going to have um a summer promotion for our page, simply select, and there you have it. Our background image has successfully changed. Now here, we are going to simply go to the headings of each of the text right there and change the content of the text, basically. So, summertime. The summer heat is on. All right, now if you want to change the font, then you could go to styling as well. Just simply select on that certain heading and go to typography here. Under typography, you can go to font family and choose your font. All right, there you have it. Now, for the font size, you could also resize that one. As for me, I'm not going to do that because I'm good with it already. Now, here you could also add some information that you would like to um, have. Like, for example, enjoy the our summer sale. Okay, let's just simply type in... Um, a subheading for our summer campaign basically ok 
Okay. Now, after that one, you can actually go to check on all the pages that you have for your landing page. Once done, Now let's move on to our next part. Okay. Now for the next part of this one, we are going to simply edit the font size right here. And there, uh, I'm just going to, like, I just gave you an idea on how to simply edit a landing page but basically that's about it uh, the most important part is to go to the styling section and general section here in the right panel now all you need to do is to publish your work and once done publishing you can actually save it and it will basically save on your theme section on on your Shopify account and you will be able to make use of it all right so now let's try to um don't ask me again first let's have this pop out now let's preview our landing page first and there this is how it looks like when you have or when you use this type of um landing page on your shopify account basically that's about it for today's video thank you so much guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed and bye